Yesenia Echevarria says her son Eric takes bus route 216 to Harmony High School every morning. She says they haven't had any issues until now, but in the past have seen other kids get kicked off. He gives me a phone call and says, Mom, they kicked me off the bus. And I said, why? What happened? What did you do? He's like, nothing. There's just no seating available. Because there weren't any open seats, Echevarria says her son supposedly sat on the floor of the bus. Then when the driver was made aware. The bus driver took him off the bus over a mile away from home at a different stop. He's only 14 years old to cross a highway where there's no crosswalk for him to even get over which is a safety issue for me. We spoke to her son, Eric, who says there was some space where the bus aide had her belongings, but he tells us she didn't move them. The only seat that was available was the seat that the bus aide was in, and she was not allowing me to sit with her, even though there was space. We took their concerns to the Osceola County Schools Transportation Services Director, who reviewed the video on the bus and sent us a statement saying the video shows that the student in question refused to sit three to a seat, which is the legal loading limit. The statement continues and says instead of sitting on the seat as required, the student decided to be noncompliant and sit on the floor. They say that's what led to him exiting the bus on his own terms. We asked for the security video, but weren't able to get it in time. However, However, we do have this video from Eric's sister showing how full the vehicle was. Clearly, no room for three to a seat. The district did confirm there are 49 bus drivers short. They say they're splitting, covering, double, and even some case triple turning school buses on daily routes due to the shortage. I understand that there's shortages of bus drivers and, you know, there's so much going on right now, but they need to make sure that the children's safety is first and that the children have a seat and have a way home, especially for the taxpayers who are, you know, depending on the school bus to take their kids to school. In Osceola County, Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.